Ladies and gentlemen, I have some great news. One Classic Lava Loon is officially back, and we are currently sitting in the top 200. Let's push to the top 100 with this deck, show you how to play it, get some big dubs, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video. I'm so happy to be back, man. Not, not anymore. Okay, that's 2.6. Um, hopefully, honestly, I've beat some 2.6 today. Um, it's been a trip on ladder recently um there's lots of lumber loon with three air cards there's lots of matchups that feel like like you're hitting yourself in the knee with a hammer but it's okay because there's a lot of trial and error that goes into this meta where you're losing a bunch but you can also gain a lot of trophies as well you can go on really hot streaks and you know all you need to do is just focus lock in and uh watch this video and like the video and you're gonna you're gonna push up that's just how it works uh, but yeah, I mean, this does look like just classic 2.6 hog. Um, what... I might fireball that just to, like, not go down a bunch of damage. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go in on offense super heavily in single. It's not... I'm never going to get to the tower, but... Um, this matchup's really, really just bad because of the amount of musketeers and cannons your opponents can cycle like he's already almost back to another hog rider which is just insane he's just like he's his cycle is just insane that's uh, there's nothing more to it that's why this matchup is so difficult and i know at a lower level this matchup can be really easy because like certain people don't know how to play the matchup properly so it just becomes way easier. That, I like that interaction that I pulled off there. We were able to zap, get some extra damage. Dude, literally wherever we can get damage in this matchup, we need to take it. So um, I like that little zap I did there. I'm going to be a little bit careful of an Ice Golem Hog here. Maybe Mega Minion just instantly. Or uh, maybe we just go Barbs here. It kind of depends what he does. So I think we'll go Barbs here. Um, if he Fireballs, it's whatever. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, you just kind of let that go. And then we'll go in with our balloon in just a second here. Because he's not going to take our tower with that. And at the same time, he's not cycling a bunch of musketeers at the same time. So what we're going to do is just uh, let us get pulled by this cannon. And then we'll go fireball up here. And I think he's just Evo Zap as well. Um, just to try and keep our balloon alive. He's going to get back to another cannon in one card. Um, so we'll see what he does with that. Instead, he misses his ice spirit. And okay, so he's trying to get fancy with it. That's what we'd love to see. Um, basically, uh, well, I guess every matchup is a bit of sack and attack, but what this matchup specializes in is there's so much pressure that the only way to beat him is to not let him pressure. And that's like, oh, well, oh, yeah, I if I knew that, I would have done... No, because it's simple, guys. Like, you can see how we got to the tower because he wasn't able to cycle a bunch of cards there. Like, he wasn't able to get to two Musketeers. He wasn't able to get to two Cannons. Well, he was, but not in time. And so you could see how we were able to, like, bait him into fireballing our Barbs because it looked like a safe play. But it wa actually wasn't because it allowed us to take his tower. Before I forget, guys, make sure to use code INVADER in the item shop. You will get a guaranteed extra balloon hit if you do so. So don't forget to do that. Also, like the video, guys. It really helps me. And the last time I, like, I specifically asked you guys to like the video, you guys killed it with the likes. And we had, like, one of the most liked videos I've had on the channel. So um, I want to thank you guys for that. Thank you for all the support, as always, of course. And uh, hopefully we can beat Kaneki here. I'm not quite sure what he's playing yet. We're just going to have to figure that out. Um, you know, you kind of have to be careful with these drill decks. There's lots of different drill variants. So we just want to kind of make sure we know what we're going up against before we start making too risky of a play. Um, I'll just go zap here, cycle my zap evo. That's usually what I do. I try to go barbs as early as possible. Um, often I won't like... I don't think I end up going barbs first play. I don't think it's a good play. Especially if you like going lava, it's important to have barbs. But I will like try and use my barbs as early as I can to try and get um, the cycle to the Evo barbs. Because it's just they're just better. Not by much. The Evo barbs aren't very good. But, you know, they're better than normal barbs. Which, it, you know, isn't saying much again. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to try and get to your Evos as fast as possible. Especially if you're a really aggressive lava player. So, now he does have Ice Wizard cycle. I want to test what the rest of his cards are. I'm expecting Goblin Stein. Um, so, Queen Ice Wiz fireball is not fun either um this doesn't look very fun we have to make sure we're mitigating the damage we're taking here it uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get any lava pup hits which is unfortunate but i mean to be fair when do our lava pups do that much they don't do they don't do much often so i'm not expecting much out of them little crappers uh we're gonna probably have to fireball this queen hopefully we don't have to that'd be kind of lame um i'm just gonna do it i mean there is no other play we're going to do. Obviously, it's going to hit the ability and stuff. Um, so, with matchups like this, 
um it's kind of important to be as focused on defense as we can be because obviously you can see in his deck like that he has queen he has ice whiz he has probably another building as well and there's lots of ways for him to just deal with us so we have to be really careful and uh and just smart and slow so i like that lava there because i can afford to go barbarians on this uh goblin drill and as you can see he does have the um you know fireball arrows but i'm just gonna let this go uh, which is a pretty risky play but i honestly kind of like it um we'll go skelly drakes to push this as well i've got evo zap plus my fireball to kill this queen as well so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go fireball we're gonna go evo zap as well here we're gonna kill the queen we're gonna keep our tower alive because i did tank a ton of damage on my tower but at the same time like it, we didn't lose our tower that's the most important part we didn't lose our tower so we're gonna go cycle i think we cycle mega minion in the back because he could get back to fireball for uh, the barbs for the drill doesn't look like he's gonna end up playing anything actually so i'm actually really proud of myself for that win because uh queen fireball arrows ice whiz didn't look very very fun to begin with but we did you know a slow methodical approach we tanked a lot of damage but i knew it wasn't gonna take my tower so good win all right guys we got our next opponent here he's been bming me for the past 30 seconds i don't really know what's going on um i have no idea who this is uh, maybe we got sniped yeah guys that's what it is we got sniped um <laughs> it looks like a cage um honestly ice spirit cage i'm just gonna let i'm just gonna chill like i have no idea what he's playing i'm not gonna go lob in the back to that i uh, like it's just yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be excellent guys i can already tell um so i'm a little scared uh, i think it is probably safe to go lava hound over here just because that thing will still get pulled to our tombstone which means the goblin brawler will also get pulled so obviously you could also you could like zap or something but i'm prepared with that mega minions i'm not really too worried about that it's a pretty risky play to make at the beginning of the game so you know i, I kind of didn't think he was going to do that so we'll just honestly we'll go balloon here i highly doubt that he has a third air counter it's very possible but i just doubt it um, we'll go zap over here he can just cage all he wants to be honest i don't really care i don't think the other tower gets involved so He's probably gonna have a nato or something so i'm gonna use a mega minion instead of a um did he just played like he had a nato i don't know like i, I he just i i just had the spidey sense for the nato tingling and it just didn't i guess it didn't happen um yeah i mean that's kind of what you can do uh sometimes not all the time definitely not all the time but sometimes you can kind of use your evo barbs split lane like i don't want to say first play but almost like really early in the game to make it so that your opponent might have to overcommit to them or something or play a card they might not want to play and then you end up with a favorable spot like we're in now and apparently this is a lava loon player like <laughs> i just could have fooled me go barbs in here um he goes uh, with the interesting fireball let's just go balloon up here goes mega minion he's gonna go sky drags on the balloon he kind of has to he just doesn't okay um yeah i mean whatever floats your boat dude you know that's that's it's all good with me man I'm going to win regardless. So if you want to keep playing like this, then clearly he doesn't watch the Invader YouTube channel. I think that's what the problem is. Every time I face a Lava Hound player that doesn't know what they're doing, I think it's because they're just not a sub. Um, so I'm just going to go Fireball and Evo Zap here so that way he can't take out our uh, our Skeleton Dragons. And we're still going to deal some good damage here. He just has no other way to get damage. There's no Balloon in this deck. There's a uh, few Lava Loon decks. I guess not Lava Loon decks. Lava Hound decks in the meta that don't use Balloon. And... We pretty much stomp on all of them, so that's another upside to playing this Lava Hound deck over another variation. And also, it's just the most fun, so. All right, guys, facing off against Baton. Let's see what he's got. I've got a nice hand where I can just zap and kind of just wait him out. Um, I can also go barbs pretty early on. I'm going to power move zap the skeletons because, I don't know, aura or something. And I, as I say that, I, I voice crack, so I lost all my aura. All right. Um, Baton looks like he's playing Mortar. I, I would kind of maybe guess Remy Ellie deck or Mortar um this kind of just seems like you know with the with the i guess with the miner i don't know why i forgot the name of that card for a second it could be either or definitely the skeleton actually make me really think it's just remy all these deck though so um we'll see um uh, usually i just take it slow take it you know nice and nice and easy um we'll fireball the magic archer pretty much every time just zap the spears uh and then he's gonna have to respond to those barbs so he won't be able to uh, pressure us immediately here he is going to outcycle us. It's kind of annoying. Um, I'll go Mega Minion here. Uh, I kind of get scared a little bit of, you know, the Evo Skelly's opposite lane. And obviously, I, now I'm just going to lose my whole tower to it. So, that kind of sucks. But not really much you can do about that when you don't have Zap in hand. You just got to lose your whole tower to the Skeletons. You know what? I think we're going to make a comeback, though. I think we're going to make a comeback. You can believe or you can not believe. 
Um, that's why I think Evo Skelly is really stupid. Because uh, with this deck, you have literally Zap and that's it. So we probably were a little bit too aggressive with that Fireball Zap. And maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I should have just let the Spear Goblins go. But that's kind of all in hindsight, you know. There's not really much you can do about that. Except, oh, I should have done this. And, you know, maybe next time we'll try and do something different. But you can't really just in the heat of the moment say, uh, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But I think we can still mount a comeback. It may sound unbelievable, but I believe, man. So, all we have to do is make sure we can uh, get our Skelly Drags to get some good value. I think he's probably going to go Magic Archer first, so that way he can cycle back to another one as soon as possible. I don't have to worry about the Evo Skellies right this instant, though, so that's a pretty good positive. Um, we'll just go Balloon like this. I think we we just go Fireball maybe down here. Evo Zap as well. That should be able to deal some good damage to the Bomb Tower. And then we'll go Skelly Drags. The Knight's currently out of hand, so he's going to Tornado this to the King Tower. And then we're going to be able to get some, uh, hopefully, some good Skelly Drags interactions. Pulls it back momentarily, and he's just kind of stalling here, which is a little annoying. But you can't stall forever. That's the best part about uh, this matchup, is you can't, you can't just stall us forever. So I'm going to go over in over here. Um, I did get a kind of, I guess, a little bit antsy i thought we were going to make sure we took that tower but i guess we didn't take that tower so he's still got a pretty intimidating little counter push to deal with over here let's see if he just gives it up or yeah he gives it up because it would have been kind of hard for him to defend against that um i didn't want to pull a like a last second lost you know because that would have been kind of frustrating i'm just zapping here to apply extra pressure to the king tower because um that means we can kind of pick which lane we want to go after we got one skeleton dragon on the tower as well so that's big w probably just gonna go magic archer now since he doesn't have his tornado though it's gonna be really hard for him to defend this and be ballooned at the same time so we'll just fireball over here and that should be ggs i knew we were gonna make that comeback bro it's not over don't tab out of the game just because you gave up you know maybe you should have played that differently maybe i should have played that differently but still let's finish the day off with a very high stakes game if i lose i lose like 38 trophies if i win i gain like 22 so that's always the most fun is when you know you're playing to not lose trophies also, that's like the worst mindset possible, right? That's like the worst mindset you can have. You always want to be focused on just that one game. And you always don't want to focus on your trophy count, right? But when you face somebody who's much lower than you, there's always that thing in the back of your mind, you know? It's just inevitable that if I lose this game, I'm going to lose a lot of trophies. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to not think about that. But you, you, you want to do your best to put that to the side. You know, that's just my little bit of advice. Um, I could definitely, you know, work on that at times as well. But you know what? Eternal to take two is coming out, baby. So I'm 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 excited, man. Now the Hawks season just started. I love watching basketball. I don't know if you guys are sports, big sports fans, but I'm a pretty big sports fan myself. Love basketball. Love Lil Uzi Vert. So EA2 coming out, baby. This is good. This is a good. We're living good, man. We're living good. And we just hit 50k, bro. And midterms are coming up on Bada Asum. Dude, we are. We we are in for an action packed November, baby. That is what I'm talking about. So let's see if we have fireball value with this cannon, maybe. Um, I, I understand that f uh, effectively fireballing this card does nothing. But at the same time, uh, we, we killed the cannon there. We did some good damage to it. We're going to end up with the damage lead anyways here. So I feel like that fireball was still important, even though it didn't like kill the goblin stein. Um, usually also a good interaction to know. Fireball Zap, in case you somehow don't know, or maybe you haven't tested it yet, Fireball Zap does not kill the Goblin Stein, but Fireball Death Bomb does. So in case you can get like the Goblin Stein in range of the Death Bomb, which happens pretty often, that will be a, a nice little interaction. So go Mega Minion over here. I think I'll just go ahead and zap that bomber. Um, he'll get one hit. It's all good. Um, yeah, I mean, we have Skeleton Dragons in case we have to worry about anything crazy for Splash. I got Barbs as, as well. Um, Evo Zap's coming up next, so we're going to be able to actually kill the Goblin Stein. I think I'll go in with with this play, which is an interesting play, but it's not a bad play, in my opinion. Um, because we force out the ability early. I, I understand that it allows him to get back to another ability sooner. But at the same time, like against Minor Cycle, we just have to make sure that we're not we're limiting excess damage. And versus Minor Cycle, this, dam this damage lead is so big that we just basically can't lose this game. Like... The problem with Minor Cycle, I think a lot of uh, players can lose to it, is because they don't be aggressive enough in single. And you've got to realize with decks that don't can't really punish you that hard, like you can kind of tell um, if can my Barb stop this, can my Mega Minion stop this, 
if if they can then you can't be pressured really hard and that's one of these matchups where you can't be pressured really hard be really aggressive in single and it of course comes with time but hope that video was able to you know entertain you guys help you guys out i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a like subscribe and have a great rest of your day guys